Now to a case in Texas that's getting national attention. A teenager who has now spent months behind bars for a comment he posted on Facebook. Here's NBC's Mark Potter. 19-year-old Justin Carter has spent nearly five months in the Camal County Jail in New Braunfels, Texas, near San Antonio. He's being held on a half-million-dollar bond. His father, Jack Carter, says he worries about his son's safety behind bars. He's scared for his life, and I'm scared for his life, and every minute he's in there is just another, another moment of, of torture for me and for him. Police say during a Facebook conversation last February, two months after the Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings, Carter wrote, I think I must shoot up a kindergarten and watch the blood of the innocent rain down and eat the beating heart of one of them. Authorities charged Carter with making a terroristic threat, a third-degree felony that could lead to a two- to ten-year prison term if he's convicted. Unfortunately, any time that we've had those kind of comments made about a school system, the history of school violence has shown that we have to take those very seriously. Attorney Don Flannery, who represents Carter, seen here several years ago, says the teen only wrote those words in response to an insult and was kidding. He never contemplated that anybody would take that to mean that he's serious. It's clearly sarcasm. Both Carter's father and the attorney say they fully understand why authorities became concerned, but argue there's no evidence Carter ever intended or had the means to carry out a threat. He's a good kid, and, and he never did anything, and, and there was not any weapons, and I think it's very obvious. In a written statement, the district attorney's office says Justin Carter's case will proceed through the criminal justice system, like all other felony cases. Carter's attorney says he will soon ask for a reduced bond so Carter can come home to his family to fight the charges for an online message he says the teen now regrets. For today, Mark Potter, NBC News.